uh, lance, it looks like. I don't know, it's more like a large cannon to me. The thing above it's obviously some kind of multi bank torpedo launcher. But Well, maybe. Ah, oh, yeah, torpedo launcher would work on the uh, spine. It's about 25. Yeah, it's years of reading comics, you know, you get used to it. Okay, so the general <laughs> basic history was 25,000 years ago. Uh, this is one of the numerous like um, expansion waves in humanity. Uh, they got sucked into the vortex as you did, and dumped out here. Uh, they realised there was no way they could escape, so they decided to try and settle. Um, after a few generations, they realised that there was a psychic, you know, gene coming up, and decided that they were going because it was seemed to be a good thing they decided they were going to help it propagate and began to use genetic modifications and stuff like that to spread it around every person in the uh, planet and when we were in a couple of hundred years everyone was a psyker and since then they've worked, lived pretty much an idyllic lifestyle no wars no nothing except for a few diseases really which you know always break out and uh, yeah, they've just been growing and trying to use the uh, system's resources as best they can. So why couldn't they leave? Um, they haven't been able to find any way out of the, the warp storm, and they weren't willing to risk everyone's lives going back into the warp storm and getting ripped to shreds. The ship was mm. damaged and took um, about a thousand years to repair. So. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't stop well, you looking for a way out, of course. I'm not going to say, of course, we're going to, but um, what what do our people say about getting us out of here? By which I mean you people. By which I mean anyone who isn't me, because I might go for a nap. Um, I've I've never encountered anything like this. I've never heard about anything like this because <laughs> so it's not going to be easy to escape. I, I dearly, dearly want to escape, and also dearly, dearly want to kill them all because there should not be that many psychers. That should just not be. At the same time, I don't want to kill them all because, man, get the black fleets in here and we'll have psychers for a week. How <laughs> 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 um, many does it take a day? A thousand a One day. Thousand. Oh, well, That's more you, than a. You, you might get a couple of years out of them. <laughs> And he only takes the weak ones, so... Mm. If they've actually been actively getting it strong... These guys can't they? even talk from one planet to another. They can't be that good. Astropaths are a bit more of a rare thing, I think. And also, if there's warp dampening, you know, because they if they've yeah, got proper warp access, then they've got, you know, they won't have the full psychic powers. Yeah, it's, which is probably why they haven't all been eaten by demons like they deserve. Yeah. So, they don't actually have to deal with the demons or anything like that, I don't believe. No, there's no, no mention of a single demon possession. They seem to, whenever someone starts going a bit crazy, it's easy for everyone else to spot, and they they do their best to, to um, like help that person. Um, there's no murders, really, because they, they spot anyone who's um, you know thinking anything like that early. And get rid of them. So pretty much all the social problems are, are removed by sharing, and it is actually quite a nice little pla paradise. Hmm. So it is communism. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, in a, in a essence, it's kind of like communism, but for the most part, I think that we should just leave them alone. <laughs> There's always that a problem with paradise. Yeah, yes. this one's that they're all the psychers. Yeah, th th this is a pretty obvious problem. Um. When we aspect the uh, when we aspect the system, did we notice? I mean, not that I've felt around for the middle of the warp storm, or well, the middle of the middle of the warp storm. But did we notice any um, alien technology at all? Of on the ship, strange oh. energy readings. No, in the system at all. In the system, no. Hmm. Well, bother. I guess that plan. Um, and I don't have scan systems with psych. With is, my brain. Is the system in any way, or actually it must be in some way unusual because we didn't see it beforehand, 
So how exactly is the system unusual? Um, you mean aside from not having any warp? Well, yeah. And that, being in the middle I mean, of a warp storm? You can't see any stars. Um, it's pretty much just black all around it. Uh, what would happen if we tried to fly out through burning? Well, just normal engines. Yeah, with a normal engine. It would take time, but I want to see if there's anything like... If they've ever tried to just see how far they can go out. Uh, they sent some probes and uh, they're still transmitting. So it's How are they transmitting? Is it radio? or? Ra well, yeah, radio. Like, it's like they sent the equipment to Voyager out. Uh, that's our Voyager probe, not the spaceship. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's still transmitting. So whatever it is, it's been going out there for a while. Uh, so it's... Wherever they are, they're, they're a while away from another space, um, another system. Yeah. Yeah. So it sub traveling somewhere by subspace doesn't seem practical. Are we even sure we're in the right universe? No. Well, I'm not. I never the rest of you. Well, that would be interesting. We go to the wrong universe. <laughs> I'm it's cool with exactly another uh, galaxy. So we're gonna have to find a way through. Uh, I I was thinking more: are we trapped in some kind of demonic sub realm? You think that we might be in the warp itself? Still? Are you are you, are you saying this is the fourth level of hell where sorcerers go to do math for all eternity? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really bad math. Trigonometry. Anyway, um, we're still trying can to I, just figure out what the fuck. Yeah, can I um, make another shot at Forbidden Law Warp with Foresight and the help of the um, Librarium? Uh, yeah, you can have another go. Yep, so that's uh, plus 20. Yep. Okay, so that's uh, 4 degrees success. Yeah, what are you trying to figure out, exactly? Um, if there's anything remotely like this in the... For like, any hints of this sort of thing in the Foresight's logs or whatnot, or their log, or the Farsight, not the Foresight. Um, Whether there's no. any information at all on this. No, nothing you can... Um, nothing you can find in there at all. Hmm. Is there any way to check for uh, editing to the log? Uh, yeah, if you want to make me a tech use. Zeb. Okay. Uh, tech use versus 100. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, the, ed the log seems to be accurate. But then again, it is just a copy, so if there was any editing in the like original files, you'll be able to see that. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So, what's your plan? There's something I want to do here, but I can't remember what it is. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, are you going to go down for the meal, or are you going to blow the planet up? Um, well, I guess we can go down for the meal. Uh, I, just, just one last question. Yeah. Is there any mention in the logs they gave us of other visitors? No, nothing. I do have a question, actually. Can we set up a uh, the information that we know on our history, since we did say that we'd give them that? Yeah, you can easily oh. copy that to something. Well, do we really want to give them the current history of the Imperium? No, I'm saying that we should give them the current history of what exactly we, uh, what exactly psychers end up dealing with. Oh. Well, we could give them the we could give them the history of the Imperium too. I mean, just because they're horrible psychers doesn't mean they deserve not to be granted the Emperor's light. Okay, oh. um, I just want to 
point out. Have any of you played Homeworld Cataclysm by chance? Yes. So the beast comes to mind. Um, yeah. Which, for those of you who haven't, is basically a, a sentient organic life form that takes over spaceships and kills everyone on side and then goes on to kill the rest of the universe. And um, Well, they've been here for 20,000 years, so probably not that. Yeah. Because it hasn't gone on to kill the rest of the universe. Well, I just feel I mean, like maybe they haven't had sufficient reason to. And giving them the history of the Imperium might be a bad idea. Well, if they can't escape, they're no real threat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then we can't escape, and Grey Hunter has just ro- railroaded us into the end of all things. Um, yep. Well, <laughs> there's, there's so, people said I was like, too nice on you, so, you know. So the, well, I normally, say we have dinner first, because... Yeah, normally because I'd be all about blowing the planet the fuck up, but I want to see what else there is here. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to check out the other planet at some point. I'm kind of interested in the tech that they might have. Of course dinner then. Yeah. Yes, yes, dinner sounds like a plan. Um, so. Yes, let's go to dinner. So you land on the planet and are all transported off to, um, you know, a, you know, through their cities, you give them the guided tour, you know, the, the statues and stuff like that. And you are brought up to what's their the equivalent of their, like, pre- I don't know, parliament or like, centre of government where they've, they've brought all the main um, dignitaries of the, of the planet uh, and they're, they're putting on quite a big show here. Yeah. So. I'm also declaring that we brought more people. So we got 15 of crew and humans this, this visit. A okay. slightly larger entourage. Slightly larger entourage, that's fine. I, I would like to have explained to the crew exactly why we are freaked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, the crew will now understand this. Well, not understand. They'll accept not really understand. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, they they allow your guards to interspace a lot around the edge of the your hall with theirs. So it's kind of alternating your, one of you, someone in your uniform, someone, someone in their uniform. They're not guards. They're my cultural delegation. With guns. <laughs> We've got guns! It's part of the uniform. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Are, my are gun you... is a part of my body at this point. About so, so. Uh... Is it kind of waving around up, you know, on top of your little mecha you know, tracking everyone in the room? Or is it, like, a bit more subtle than that? It's shoulder mounted. Yeah. So, just, just yes. Just drape a bit of cloth over it so it's not as obvious. <laughs> and I've also got my medical mechadendrite, which has a bone saw on it. So basically, you're walking into this, um, you know, great diplomatic meal with a, a rusty saw and a shotgun. Not rusty. I keep it in very good condition. Yeah, but you still get turning up arms. Hey, it's a good way. Of, it's a good talking point, and I can use it to cut the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're getting quite a lot of loops because you're quite a hard for them to read. Um, yeah. you know, I'm partially machine, and yeah, so the machine trait makes it so that I am unaffected by psychic stuff. Yep. I think. Hang on a second, let me look that up. Yeah, you might want to know that one at some point. Yeah, Boy, I get the feeling. It's the talent. Um, no, trait. Trait. So, you know, you're subjected to several long and boring speeches. And, um, you know, talking about how hopefully you can find a way back and bring them to your Imperium. You know, the various people are reading through the logs you've brought as, as the meal goes on. The meal's passable. You know, you, you've had better, but everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. And, you know, there's well, they do. quite a lot of <laughs> laughing and joking going on. Well, you, you assume joking. There's a lot of laughing going on. You know. If there's any jokes, you can't hear them. And quite a lot of the delegates make sure they actually speak to you in proper, like, words. Although they're all very halting, because they're obviously not used to using their tongues. What well, their larynx is more than anything, I would think. Well, they've, they've pretty much learned, learned um, gothic off you now. 
Hmm. Mind influencing psychic effects. Yeah, I'm immune to psychic effects that are mind influencing. So I can't even hear them. <laughs> so you've been going through all this going, are they talking? <laughs> I'm just sort of, okay, I just put my medical mechadent right back and I sit on it. Yeah, well, well, I did, well, he has heard the, um, like, I assume he knows that he's immune to psychic effects, so. Yeah. So he would have known that when I went, they're all psychers. That, yeah, that's why. Yeah. We're so I'm sitting to here just. Asked. I'm just leaning back on my medical mechadon right right now, just, just kind of rubbing my head like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bit boring for you because if they forget and they In start communicating with everyone else, it just goes silent. So this is yeah. basically a, a room full of about a hundred people, and just every so often someone just speaks because they remember to speak. So. But, yeah, seems to go on. I wonder whether I freak them out as much as they freak us out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the, the thing is, there's one of you, and there's there's a lot of them. Two pipefuls of them. Yes. This is all sorts of terrifying. Did did both planets do the genetic modification, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or...? Yep. It happened before they went to the second one, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, so after a while, um, you know, you notice that one person is laughing quite hard. I mean, he's sitting on the table, he's got his hands on the um, shoulders of a couple of people sitting in front of him, and he's laughing. But the laughing starts to change. Oh boy. And oh god, um, 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 they, um No, no, um, no, oh this is this is before you realise um, You know, you notice that they're laughing as well But the the change is the fact that the laughter begins to synchronise um, Oh god And is it, what's, the, what's the equivalent of the perception test here? Actually, it is a perception oh. test, excellent Can everyone make me a perception test? Perception, oh god, just oh god, perception. Oh god. I failed yeah. it. Oh god, no! I'm the only one who can stop him, and I failed it. I failed it bad. Wow. <laughs> we. All right, we I'll see what mine is. <laughs> god damn it! What is oh, with us? You're our only hope. <laughs> I rolled a twenty-six and it didn't go through. That works. Zero one. Zero one. <laughs> okay, what Cole notices is the rest of you are obviously too busy chatting away. Or I'm not chatting away. You're, I'm you're, just you're playing staring. Tetris on your Macadendrite or whatever. I think I'm probably just bored. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what what Cole notices is, is that the hand he's got a hand on these two people and it's not moving. Um, and as he kind of stands up, they stand up as well. But they kind of support him, so it's kind of like he's supporting himself on these people. Um, Who is he? Uh, he was introduced to some minor delegates, so no one of importance. Um, but as you as you watch, those two people then reach out and touch two other people who start laughing and synchronize. So at this point, Cole realizes something's amiss. Welcome to the Odyssey, everybody. Um, so I warn everybody else to keep an eye out. Uh, okay. And you're warning us. Um, how far away is he? Um, he's the other end of the hall, so probably about. Can we ask somebody around what the hell's going on with him? About fifty feet or so. Fifty feet down. That's out of range. I think. I'm, I'm how large is the? Up. How far away is he? About fifty feet. It's quite a large 50 hall. Feet? Yeah. Okay, so he's within um, gun range. He's in gun range, yeah, but he's but, kind uh, of, he's, but he's not close enough for you to see easily what's going on. Does it does it keep spreading? Do they keep? Um, yeah, as you basically, this is the point where it will become quite obvious that something is wrong to the rest of you. God fuck um, damn it! Can okay, we ask um, what the no, hell's no, going no. on? Um, basically, other people start laughing across the room randomly. Uh, and the laughing gets louder and louder. Um, Science, can I feel the warp? Yep. 
24, that's a pass, 2 degrees. Yeah, you can definitely feel the wall. Oh, 4 drops. It's, rel um, it's relatively weak. Um, guys, the warp storm is collapsing. But there's definitely some... that. Yeah, it definitely feels different. Um, it's more what you expect. Um, and this kind of um, group of people is now one person supported on four others. And as you look... Um, where his hands are and feet, they've begun to merge into the other people. Oh, oh god. Shit. Um, I charge him and um, hold him my gaze, and I need to find it, because I don't <laughs> have my book. Does anyone have I, a box? I, I believe it's an opposed willpower test. So, uh, I'm the guy in the middle of it, because this is, this is bad. Does I don't care about diplomatic box? niceties. Opposed willpower. Oh, frick. <laughs> <laughs> So, no. Nope. Well, they didn't do much better. And I think you might have a higher score. Uh, 49 versus 94. So that's like, what, 4 degrees of failure? That's yeah, really I'm going to say that it has no effect. Were we allowed to bring our weapons? Oh, yeah, you've got your weapons. Do we because have this is a bad. communicators to the ship? Oh, yeah, you've got are, everything. Are we oh, good, then I have my teleport beacon. Yeah, are we that's in what I was thinking. We just beam everything in the region up, and then we deal with it back there. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is this is bad. Are we this technically is, is in bad. combat yet? Yeah, I think we'll switch down to combat because Fuck. some some of the um the laughing uh, people are beginning to stand up and one of them reaches out to one of the person who's not laughing but looking really scared at whoever this person just reaches out, rips out their throat in one fluid movement and just carries on laughing all the time. So about half the room is laughing at this point, and the other half is looking really freaked out. So, yep, yeah, you're moving into um, combat. I think this is the point where we should say, get down, and anyone who fails to get down gets shot by our crew. You know, because we have all these guys around the room, and this is really bad. Yeah. More importantly, I think Zebran, uh, Ash, and I are in one corner and Veloxel ran off to the other corner so let's go ahead and activate that teleport beacon <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah that, no. that's great you can't navigate a planet side when there's a warp storm collapsing around you I don't give a fuck <laughs> it's better than being down here um, um, nah I don't think I'd be able to no yeah let's uh let's Let's go with that. Try to get so you over here and... Down idea and okay, so your job is to get over to us, have our uh, crew get into a, uh, basically a corner so that we can block off, and then we can teleport up. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do for your crew mm -hmm. is um, basically have an opposed combat test. Um, but I'm going to give, because there's more of the enemy, I'm going to give them a plus 20 bonus. Okay. So... Um, do the crew get any uh, advantage? Because they're pretty... Yeah, I'm going to basically say your guys have got about 45 skill as opposed okay. to um, <coughs> uh, 60 skill for the others. So your, right. your guys uh, get one degree of success. Uh, I get three. So you do form a, a, a circle, but I'm going to say 1d6 people are killed. Um, wait. What part do they get hit in? If they get hit in the heart, then well, they're ripped to sh shreds by these teams. So only oh. one person. You lose Good one of the honor they. guard because uh, he's not quick enough, and the guard next to him uh, has been laughing and just reach. You know, brings his gun up and just shoots him, laughing all the time. But everyone else managed to avoid and take out whoever's at them and form begin to form up. But now a lot of people in the room are dead. Screaming, running for the exits, or laughing manically. So I'm going to say that's one combat round. I'm going to run this a bit uh, looser than I would a normal combat session because yep. you know, a lot there's a lot of people in here. So, um, so it'd be a kind of. So this, yeah, I think this is this is beyond staring the guy down. Um, I'm going to have like uh, before you do uh, have another round. Um, the laughing kind of blob, which is now about six or seven people. Um, kind of merged together, all laughing. Um, the laughing stops, and a voice begins. It's like, 
I am the laughing god. Kneel before me. And the laughing me. god? The laughing god. Hello! Kamara? Yeah, this this doesn't look like the laughing god at all. No, yeah, this he'll. Is, this is this is this is not the kind of bullshit he pulls. Well, with the laughing bit, but yeah. isn't isn't that like the elder god? Yes, it is an elder god who will murder the fuck out of you. No, it's, it's not the, the god. laughing. It's not the elder one. It's that. Okay, it's another one. Well, he's calling himself the laughing god. It's okay, so it's yeah, probably that's, that's, Slanish. <laughs> that's that's what I mean by this is not the laughing god. This is okay, this, this so is not him at all. This is a laughing god. This is a laughing god. <laughs> this is a demon yeah. with uh, delusions of grandeur. I, I want yes. this entire conversation to have been in character as well. <laughs> 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 He's not for you. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I'm okay with that because I would, well, at least my first, you, you are, this is not the laughing god would definitely be in character. Yeah. Is, 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 is the mouthpiece that guy that is Voltron? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> He's forming the head, yes. yes. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're forming into one warp beast and we want to get the fuck out of here. Um, Come on, Sin. You got to run towards us. At this point, yep. I want you to make your fear rolls. Fear two. Fear two. Oh boy. What is? What is? That's a pass. I'm ro I'm re-rolling that with uh, my. Uh, hmm? Yep. Unshakable faith. Unshakable faith. So re-roll. Nineteen. Fifty versus my willpower of. Fifty-one. I pass. Awesome. My resistance fear means my willpower is 47. Alright, so... But my shit just refuses to roll for whatever reason. <laughs> um, drop it in the bottom bar, it's a bit easier. Oh, okay. And then you can just click that once and get a D100. <sighs> Thank you, unshakable faith. <laughs> Balls. I'm gonna get rid of this with no cor corruption, aren't I? It's even yep. refusing to do that. Um, okay. Um... So you want me someone to? Um, I can roll for um, you. But. I'm just, Vox, I'm just gonna join really quick. Yeah, Vox, Vox the ship. Tell them to start targeting this building. Do not fire until we give the word. Can Can we beam a load of murder servitors in so I can watch them work? Um, <laughs> we have to activate them plan. and. That's a bad plan. And yeah, you I don't take too long. Shoot them. Can, aside from having to activate them, there would also be who's leading them that would leave it with a 30 score rather than yours. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And speaking of, actually, <laughs> speaking of, since you have a command skill, you can actually command our troops and give them bonuses. Ooh, I can. Yeah, I've... How good bonuses do I give? Uh, where's the command skill? I can't see it. Oh, command, it's just regular, it's fellowship, so it would be your f fellowship plus your command, or it'd be command plus whatever bonuses you have, not for the teleportarium, though. Doesn't what does that actually do? Well, for group skills, wouldn't it be? Group combat? I basically would say that it, it's up to Gray, really, but maybe group we should groups, act it as a... Uh, Boarding action sort of thing. I think we're going up against a large group. Yeah, I think the boarding action rules are probably the best thing for this. Go up play to them. Oh well, that won't work. Uh, why you know? I, I get some insane bonus to boarding actions. I think actually. There we go. I guess that works. I mean, another, no one else can see it, but no, we can see that. That's the only way it's working. Um, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. So I'm suspecting that to pass. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So none of you go have any effects of fear. You're apparently all used to this. Philosophy, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh well. Another demonic possession taking over a room for us like this. <sighs> Mondays. This is what happens well, when you like this. Um, Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fridays. Yeah. Sure. Five o'clock Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to leg it back toward everyone, full sprint, just get the fuck away from the demon. I've tried to save him, now I just got to get out of here and... Yeah, that was a real good idea, by the way. It, it, it could have worked. <laughs> Sin, I did not give you the um, mechanical heart, did I? No. So I can only go six squares. 
but only move. Nine, like, I think, if you use a full run action. You can use oh, both double it, so that's, I think, run action is double. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Let's. Well, I can move back to where I was and pass there. Because I only had to move, what was it, five meters? I only had to. I mean, I might have even been in range, but it's more dramatic if I run forward and stare at him. <laughs> Would have been even more dramatic if I'd passed, but. Point, point being, we can get yeah. the fuck out of here. <laughs> 